Hey guys, welcome back to Pirates and Princesses. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about another Star Wars rumor that's been posted on PiratesandPrincesses.net. PiratesandPrincesses.net, the best Disney site out there that I'm not the least bit biased about. There we go. Uh, Geeky actually does manage this site. It's mostly her Disney site. It is unbiased Disney news and opinions. And uh, well, one I maybe have a little, maybe a little bias anymore, but I try not to. Definitely not pixie dusters. I just but I call out stuff. Like if I'm seeing weirdness, like, you know, oh, look, here's Disney trying to use a TikToker or whatever. I, I, I'm going to probably say something. Yeah. Anyway. Well, we've we've gotten a peek behind the, the curtain. Mm -hmm. it, uh, looked Mickey, under the dress. Looked under the dress, looked under Minnie's skirt. We know how everything works, how it's put together. Uh, yeah, so we have a little, you know, not to brag, but I think we have a little more insight than maybe some other people because we've worked closely in and around mm -hmm. Disney. And we're not afraid owners. to say stuff. So <laughs> No, neither are people within the company. They just do it under a veil of secrecy as mm -hmm. to who they are because a lot of people at Disney are not happy with some of the decisions. Uh, Disney is making. However, the one bright spot in regards to Disney Plus and in regards to uh, Disney's handling of Star Wars so far has been The Mandalorian, mm -hmm. which is getting, you know, I mean, there are some people who aren't happy with it, but there more, more people are than are not compared to the Disney sequel trilogy. And a lot of that is because of, you know, John Favreau and Dave Filoni actually giving a shit about real right. Star Wars. So now the rumors are circulating uh, that Robert Downey Jr., who is a, a an associate of John Favreau mm -hmm. from the Iron Man movies and other projects, right? They worked together many times. Mm -hmm. Might be coming to the uh, the Favreau Filoni verse in a uh, surprising twist of which character uh, he is rumored to be playing. And this would not uh, surprise anyone who's paying attention because Disney, you know, they torched the expanded universe. Uh huh. Uh, but now they're cherry picking characters from the expanded universe. Yep. And uh, sort of retconning them a little. Better not ruin Mar Jade. No. I mean, it's not just me. They ruin Mar Jade. They, they have no idea that the shitstorm they're going to be in for. Oh, yeah. She's like the huge amount of Mar Jade fans out there. And to all of you, I say, yes. Go ahead. That is true. So the character he's rumored to play, and we're going to talk about it more here in a second, is Grand Admiral Thrawn. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, at first I was like, what? But then I'm like, you know, if anybody could make Grand Admiral Thrawn uh, more likable and more charismatic and more menacing, it's somebody like Robert Downey Jr. Mm -hmm. He took Tony Stark, who was a very bland kind of Bruce Wayne knockoff in the comics, and turned him into a charismatic uh, yeah. character. So I, I personally, if they would bring Thrawn into it and it would be Robert Downey Jr., I think it could be freaking amazing. Yeah. Uh, for, but I'm, wait, I'm waiting for the, the, the other shoe to drop, like Mar Jade's Brie Larson or something like that. That is always a possibility. So before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. Guys, yeah. we're over 167,000 subs, I Almost think. Almost 168. Woo! Uh, heading for 200,000 yeah, soon. Yeah, we'll have that party. Uh, Ewok party. Ewok party on, on, on the Wampa rug. There's a Wampa rug. There's shirt. a Wampa rug. It's, like a it's, like it's, it's not real. It's a bearskin rug. Me and the, and the Ewoks have a party on the Wampa rug. Probably without me, but that's okay. Why without you? Would you want like Ewoks? Uh, well, you're on the Wampa rug. <laughs> and? Well, yeah, it sounds like you got your hands full. Anyway, okay. uh, anyway, I'm, I'm just thinking that, you know, I looked at that, that Wampa bearskin rug and I'm like, God, you know, the dog might want to have a party on that rug. <laughs> That's why I went to the Can studio. we take it to the dry cleaner or how does that work? <laughs> Okay, that was weird. Um, I, I, um, I would only leave it in the studio. But anyway. Okay, that actually. Yeah. He's so cute though. He's so fluffy and he's so brushable. The dog is too, but the Wampa rug is. It's just, I love Wampas. It's like a thing. All right, so uh, let's talk about this. WDW Pro, who is a legit Disney insider, posted an article yesterday talking about this uh, situation with Robert Downey Jr. It has come from other sources. I uh, said that. Uh, uh, Daniel Rickman, I guess, was the first one to break it, but he's trying to piece it together with his own sources, and he thinks there is a kernel of truth that they might be looking to get Robert Downey Jr. Uh, onto or into the uh, Filoni verse. Maybe it, makes total, it makes total sense, honestly. He's not doing Marvel anymore. He doesn't want to, He's not coming back. He said so. Um, it makes sense. Yeah, he said, we're reporting today that there are discussions as signaled by Rickman and that we might be able to get a report later that uh, Robert Downey Jr. has inked a deal. So far, there currently are no signed contracts. Now, usually where there's smoke, there's fire. And it's been our, uh, you know, 
observation that time and time and time again, when an actor is rumored for a particular role and these rumors keep coming up, Mm -hmm. that often it happens. Or there's some reason that people, you know, thought that sometimes things change. It doesn't mean it wasn't, you know, in play before. Yeah. um, And a lot of times I I think it's either their agents trying to manipulate the situation to see what the public opinion would be. Or like a Leslie Headland type deal. Right. Suddenly got leaked accidentally. Whoopsie. Now you have to do it because it was bad if you you, you don't hire this diverse woman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, You don't want to be a bad guy, right? You don't want to be the one who pulls a plug on Leslie Headland. Be the bad guy. (laughs) (laughs) Sometimes you have to be the bad guy. Uh, You have to be a dick to get things done. You're Uh, not allowed to say that. Oh, because that's 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 that means that you have to be a dude, and and there's a bunch of people screaming right now because <laughs> you said that. Anyway, uh, he said that one lead he's working on cannot cooperate is the potential role may be different than the Iron Man Tony Stark role uh, that Robert Downey Jr. played for a while, meaning it is potentially a villain, you know. Um, and he said that he believes that John Favreau is actively recruiting other big names that would normally be associated with theatrical releases. Because remember, the theaters are in the gutter right now. Mm-hmm. We don't know if theaters are ever going to return to what they were before. And even then, there was talk that maybe they'll do a Mandalorian movie or something at some point. Maybe if, if he comes in as Thrawn, they'll be like, okay, well, here's Mando the movie with Robert Downey Jr. as well, Thrawn. I'm, I'm still worried. Though. The more I hear about Thrawn, the more I worry that they're going to bring Mara Jade into it. And the more I worry they're going to ruin her. At that point, I don't want to ruin Thrawn either, but I'm really worried they're going to ruin Marjorie. But at that point, I'm like, why didn't you just seven, eight, and nine make the Thrawn trilogy and call it? Many a day? people have asked that. Like that would have been the easiest solution. Just take it. Maybe... I, but people wouldn't know what it was though, or something based on that. It didn't have to be exactly the same. No, but if you're going to cherry pick elements from it, why burn down the expanded universe? Well, no, we can tell you why because. I think it has to do with projects like the High Republic that they want to put their own. Yeah, well, we're going to tell that in another video because yeah. I did this thing about that earlier. Yes, but it doesn't make a lot of sense. To, it never made a lot of sense to me to be like, yeah, we're gonna, you know, the expanded universe is trash. We're gonna get decades rid of it, worth of stuff. But we're just gonna cherry pick stuff, and now it's basically looking like we're just redoing the expanded universe. Anyway. Yeah, even the sequel trilogy. I mean, they took elements of the expanded universe, but they just reassigned character names and stuff, and it's like it's. The same damn thing. You even got the clone emperor coming back, mm-hmm. you know, which George Lucas said he explicitly hated. He's like, no, right. he's, de- he's dead. <laughs> you know, yeah. He's freaking dead. He's, it's over. And you did it anyway because you couldn't think of anything better. That, that, they got themselves painted in a corner with a lot of, with <sighs> Ryan Johnson's lovely, you know, film. And then they had to come up with other stuff. And that's what they did to undo it. So, yeah, he said that, uh, you know, makes us curious fans. Again, this is speculation. We don't know. But Favreau is planning to bring in Downey or other top stars of the Star Wars universe. What's the budget? Are they playing on any clever methods for increasing revenue? They might have to because Disney Plus, they're not going to be able to do these massive, Mm-mm. you know, it probably would be, a, I would guess a movie, I would say. Or he's saying it might be a like a, a pay-per-view event or something. We were joking. But no, they're, they're going to have another tier that's going to be the paid, you have to pay for. Disney tier. Plus Plus. Plus Plus, yes. We Disney keep joking about Ultra. that. Yeah. Uh, so to summarize, this pro says he believed, based on what we're hearing, other publicly released reports, that Downey is in talks to join. Uh, we believe that they're substantial uh, for a substantial long-term role, meaning a big bad for this uh, filler series. I, I mean, I could I could see Thrawn pulling the strings behind mm-hmm. everything that's going on with Moff Gideon and all of that. You know, who knows? Uh, we believe there will soon be additional talks to bring other major actors in, all moment, like Brie Larson. Oh, That's man. what I'm afraid of. <laughs> like Brie Larson. Uh, after she gets shit canned from Captain Marvel because they replace her with uh, uh, Monica Rambeau. Here's the idea. Hire a redhead to play Mara Jade. You're not going to get, you know, you need the authenticity. Stay in your lane. Stay in your own lane. Uh, all momentum and company backing leverage seems to be behind it. Favreau and Filoni. It would Good. not shock us if uh, RDJ takes on a role like Grand Admiral Thrawn or some other major piece and that this represents the beginning of a major movement within the acting entertainment industry where the oxygen money is. That's the thing. Robert Downey Jr. is he's on the same level as Johnny Depp in terms of box office draw and paycheck. Mm-hmm. Johnny Depp obviously is out of the picture with Disney now because of things. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can argue as to whether or not those things are fair, but... For now, he's out of the picture. So what else they got? Robert Downey Jr. Well, they killed him off in the MCU. What else is the other big thing we got? Well, we need star power on Disney Plus and Star Wars is kind of on life support, but there's an ember there that we can bring it back. And with. it's run by someone who's friends with Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. <laughs> so. so do I think there's kernel truth to this? Absolutely. They brought Thrawn back on Rebels. Uh, they brought him back in a series of books. 
Um, he is a popular, very popular expanded universe character, and he would be a formidable uh, opponent. Mm -hmm. You know, again, if you bring oh, him he's in, one of my favorites. I mean, I love Thrawn. He was cool because he was like he wasn't like the typical cackling villain. Like, well, he was also they made a big point in the books. This goes back to other videos we talked about. He got himself to position of being um, a grand admiral, and he wasn't human. That was one of the main points they went back to was about how they had the, the, the Empire was notoriously mm -hmm. anti-diversity, anti-alien. Yeah. It was like a big deal that Thrawn got himself to that point because he was just that good. I just thought it was interesting that he was like, you know, he's not like some like sociopathic killer or whatever. Like he, he appreciated fine art. Mm -hmm. He appreciated, you know, he was, he was mm -hmm. a, a more, I guess, elegant. And in his mind, everything he was doing was completely... Legit, it was on the up and up, you know. Um, and I, I could see Robert Downey Jr. Because even the way he did Iron Man in the movies, like Iron Man did some pretty douchey things, but he had the right motivation behind it. And he right. thought he was right even when Captain America is like, no, dude, this is too far. It's wrong. He was still convinced he was the hero. And I could see him maybe bringing that to Thrawn, being mm -hmm. like, I am I am 100% right. He'd be a good choice. You know, and maybe fleshing that character out more, because that's one thing with, you know, I said before about Tony Stark in the comics, is he was basically just a, a, a Batman knockoff, kind of. He, had, he didn't really have a lot of personality. It depended on who was writing him. But yeah. Robert Downey Jr. kind of, like, gave Tony Stark a definitive the cockiness and all of that, that really wasn't there in a lot of the comics. And I could see him putting a different twist on, on Thrawn that would make him, you know. I think it'd be cool. I think it'd be cool. Um, like I said, it's all rumor. Uh, it's interesting though, because I know uh, Pro doesn't run with things unless he's pretty sure that's where it's at at the time. Yeah, yeah, and like I said, where there's smoke, there's fire. I mean, this could all be, could all be bullshit, but uh, it, given who's involved, it totally makes sense. Given the way the industry's going right now, it totally makes mm -hmm. sense. Uh, so is there anything else you want to add? No. Nope. You want to talk about that uh, Wampa rug again? No, no, but it's really cute. Go to Twitter. Okay. My Twitter, you can see a picture of it. Anyway. All right. So we're going to wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.